these are the people that help me and they can definitely help you guys too so please check them all out hey everyone i am back again and today i want to talk a little bit more about my lot max sc10 so i had done a review of the lot max i think seven or eight days after i initially got it because i was so impressed that i was able to build it in five minutes and then so basically right out of the box it was giving me prints every bit as good as my dialed in modified ender 3. uh so you know, I was really happy with the lot max. And since then, it's been now two months. So I've been printing nonstop 24 hours a day, seven days a week on this lot max SC10. It has performed incredibly well. And I hope if anyone bought one on my recommendation, I hope you're getting the exact same experience that I got because it's been excellent. I'm, I'm hoping I didn't recommend something where I got a good one and other people don't get as good. So hopefully everyone's, you know, having the same user experience that I have, which has just been great. Anyway, uh, when I went to print a model the other day I had my raft turned off because I was doing another experiment which I'm gonna make another video on about printing because I've always printed with a raft so I did some stuff without a raft anyway I also turned on supports on a supportless model because sometimes I like to do that just to make sure a little overhangs come out okay so on this goblin grotto uh, mushroom tree I decided to turn some supports on because there are some overhangs which it is a supportless model they will print but then you get the kind of little string your know, little spaghetti type stuff underneath it which you have to scrape off or sand so sometimes i use supports there i still have to do a little scraping afterwards but to see me it seems like less cleanup to use supports even on a supportless model sometimes so anyway when i went and put in the slicer which i'm going to show you the it was really funny because the supports were kind of like very sporadically placed around outside this really tall model and they would have to print like six inches up and there weren't very many of them they were very skinny so when i looked at it i thought well no way in hell this is going to print i was going to change some stuff up and re-slice it and then i thought to myself you know what this would actually be a really good test for the lot max sc10 since i've been singing its praise and saying it's so good i thought you know even though i might be wasting you know 18 hours of printing let me try to print this damn thing and just see how it comes out let's see what this machine can actually do and i should try to replicate this on my ender now that i've done this just to see can my dialed in ender do this too i'm assuming actually it could after seeing the results of this but i should probably just test it anyway so without any more talking let's look at the model in cura and then i'll show a very brief clip of it actually you know kind of mid print and then we'll look at the end results and let's see what happened here thanks so I dropped this model into the slicer and I absolutely love this uh, mushroom tree. And when I sliced it, I had my, normally I have a raft on just so everything sticks better. And for some reason I had my raft turned off. I think I had been doing another experiment on a, on one of the guard tower pieces. So I had supports on because I want these overhangs, you know, I just like them to print nicely. And when I sliced it, look at the, look at the supports there. They're very sporadic, very spaced out incredibly thin and also incredibly tall so i'm looking at this not my first thought to myself was well hell that that's never going to print those really like the ones on the side there there's no way first of all they're not even attached to the model at the top right they don't like if you look at the preview some of them don't go all the way up i thought there's no way in hell these things print so then i decided you know i should actually test this so look see here i'm showing you that's not attached to the model the supports so i thought those tiny little supports not really attached to the model chance that i'm printing is zero so i thought this is actually a great experiment my my lot max sc10 has been performing amazing for me and i'm hoping that anyone else who bought one on my recommendation is getting the same performance level so i figured let me really put this forget a benchy or some crap like that this is a real torture test could like try to print these skinny tiny little supports that are about i don't know six inches tall and attached to basically nothing except the build plate so let, let's you know let's see what happened let's test it out here it is about eight hours into the print about halfway through and those skinny little supports all look like they're printing fine i'm pretty shocked and here it is completed and to my amazement not one of these supports failed it's pretty crazy they all printed out fine so i was really really impressed that the lot max could handle those incredibly tall incredibly thin supports with no raft or anything just just on the bed adhesion i was totally expecting at least a couple of them would get you know kind of knocked off dragged around turned into spaghetti whatever and they're not even some of them aren't even attached to the model at the top they're just you know at the, when they get up to the top they're attached to nothing so the fact that those didn't fail or get knocked around 
Um, I'm, I'm still very, very impressed with this machine. And like I said, I hope if anyone did buy one on my recommendation, I really hope you're getting the same you know, user experience that I'm getting because it's, it's actually pretty phenomenal. I'm, I'm actually pretty amazed you know, just how well this machine is doing. And now it's been over two months, so I'm hoping you know, six months from now, I'll come back into a further review and say, hey, it's been you know, six full months and it's still working incredibly well. So that's it. Hope you like, hope you subscribe. If you need instructional videos, you guys know I have a ton of them to help you all out, get some good prints. Uh, so that's it for today. Thanks and happy 3D printing.